What's up, divas? What's up, divos? It's your girl, and we back for the Real Talk video. So what's up, you guys? It's Wednesday. It's time for Real Talk. I honestly decided today I'm just going to just do Real Talk. I was going to do some other videos, like three wig videos, but I just really didn't feel like it. You know, when you get up, I, and plus I had to go to the Dollar Tree. There was something that I needed to finish a project with, so... By the time I got home, it was like 11, 11.30, and I really like to start off really early in the morning, like, you know, do my makeup, you know, shower, which I do every morning. But, you know, after I drop my grandson off, I like to, you know, come right back and then, you know, get ready to do videos because I don't really like to do them too late in the day. You know, I just later on in the day is the time for me to edit. So, you know, no makeup today. Got my headband wig on i can't even remember where this one is from but yeah rocking that got my nails redone and this is the gel polish from nail addict that i did um showcase in a video so yeah i got my nails done the other day and like i was telling you guys in my vlog for uh the nail salon um i did notice that that gel polish started chipping and I never had an issue like that with any gel polish. And one of my subscribers did also say that she purchased from Nail Addict as well. And she, she too as well had the same issue. So I did want to use the electric yellow that they sent me, which is so pretty. The color is really bright and pretty. Um, but I did, this was on Friday when I got my nails done and today is Tuesday, but I noticed on Sunday, that there was like a little tiny chip at the tip of the nail and then now on the side. So it is the gel polish, which is unfortunate because it's really a nice color. And for the price, $19.95, I would expect it to like really be some bomb polish. But, you know, you can only pay half of that if you use the coupon code that I've given on the video. And I'll make sure to remember to link it here. But yeah, I love the color, but... The quality, which I'm seeing right here, is not really that great. But the other nails are fine. So I don't know if it was the polisher or not. But the other nails are fine. I've had these nails on for like, what, three months, two months? And they just I just keep getting them redone, filled. And my nails underneath have grown a lot. So, you know, I'm liking going back to getting my nails done. I am. I do. I really, really do. Now, also, I wanted to tell you guys, I had this. I had the pleasure of working with this young lady named Rose. We worked with one another about a couple of years ago. Really beautiful personality, really humble person. I had the pleasure of working with her. She and I did a project together, and um, she's also a business owner. She um, had a business where she provides wig services, you know, where you can purchase some really nice wigs. And she also has some really great amenities with them. Um, really great woman. She started losing her hair around the age of 35 out of nowhere. You know, she hasn't had any health issues. She just started losing her hair. She was diagnosed with central alopecia, which is a common hair loss among black women. I've never heard of it. And, you know, me personally, I'm one who's always like really scared about my edges because they just get thinner and thinner. And it seems like regardless of what I use, it just doesn't help. You know, it doesn't help. I don't even wear the wigs like that. I don't even have the combs in my head. So, you know, I understand how she feels about losing her hair. And because she lost her hair, that's where she began to do, you know, selling wigs online. And a lot of her customers were women that, you know, needed to wear wigs like herself. And a lot of them were just, you know, regular people, regular women who really just enjoy wearing wigs. But she's a really great woman and I love her personality. And I want you guys to do me a huge favor. Um, she is going up for a grant. And this is a grant where you have to vote. So all you guys need to do is just click on the link that I'll provide you. And I'm going to promote her from the um, from the 10th of March to the 14th of March on my social media pages. And all she needs is a vote from you guys. You can vote every day. That would be so much appreciated. But the more votes she has, the better chance she will have at winning this grant, this business grant. And this would be perfect for her because, like I said, she is all about helping women. And, you know, we as women always want to look our best regardless, you know. I mean, personally, I love wearing T-shirts and stuff, but I still want to look my best when I wear a T-shirt. You know what I'm saying? I would really appreciate it if you guys would vote for her. But I will be promoting her all uh, week from the 10th to the 14th. It's always nice to see someone else 
flourish and help people. That's just what it's about. And that's what God intended for all of us to do. So, you know what I mean? Make sure you guys vote for her and I will definitely link the information below. So on that note, we're going to get right into this real talk, you guys. Huh? 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 What? If you want a real talk about yourself, girl or guy, whomever, you know what I'm saying? You can always send me an email. It's aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com, but I'll definitely link it below. You can just put in a subject line, real talk. And if you want your name to be changed in the video, you can provide me with the name you would like to use. If you don't, I'm going to just change it on my own. You know what I mean? And please just be aware that Real talk is not me giving you advice of what to do. It's just me being opinionated or just me telling you what I would do or my opinions and thoughts, just as well as the uh, subscribers that will leave comments, too. So, you guys, hmm, get some tea. I should have some damn water. But get some tea, water, wine, whatever you want to call it. I should have something because my lips is dry as hell. And we're going to get into this real talk. All right, you guys. So this one was titled for me. Excuse me, not titled. Well, your title. Um, how do you deal with a disrespectful child? Hey, muffins. How are you and your family? I pray for your health and ask for your daily strength as I know you have children of your own. So maybe you can help me with this major question that I have. How do you deal with a disrespectful child? My daughter is 20 years old and lives at home with me. She has no kids, thank goodness, but she also has no job, no income, no motivation, and no damn respect for me or my home. I work two jobs, Monday through Friday, and she does nothing while I'm at work but sleep all day, eat up the food I have purchased, and have her friend over to my house. And I honestly feel like I have smelled weed in my home, but she says she doesn't smoke in my house. For one, we are constantly bumping heads. It's either about getting a job, cleaning after herself as well as our home, and going back to school. She has called me out of my name on several occasions in which in return I have put her out, but she always seems to weasel her way back into my home by either apologizing or saying it won't be for long. She will find a place to stay, but never does. I'm just trying to figure out, have you ever felt like you just want to run away, run away and, oh, run away and not be found due to ungrateful people, even your own children? She is stressing me out to the point where I am finding myself really disliking her. And I hate to feel that way about my own child, but she has become a huge burden to me and I just don't know what to do anymore. Please help. And that was it. Meaning she didn't give me no name to call her or nothing. So um, we are gonna call her Agnes. I don't know why I just, that name just popped in my head. So we gonna, go, we gonna call her Agnes. So basically, Agnes got a 20-year-old bum living in her house, okay? First of all, not saying that your kids need to not live with you at the age of 20 because rent is high out there. And kids are kids. Yes, we want to make them responsible, and we definitely want to help them as long as they're helping themselves. You know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't bother me so much if I had a kid that was 20 years old living in my home that was going to work, doing something positive or motivational. You know what I'm saying? But if you live in there, she... Agnes' daughter is living there like she is under the age of 18 or under the age of, t of 10. You know what I mean? She's laying up, not doing nothing. Even kids, like 10-year-olds do stuff. They do chores. They earn their keep. Like, everybody got to earn their keep. It don't matter if you don't have a job. It don't matter if you like a certain age. When you are a child, I think, like, me personally, I think, like, you should start at least having them do some type of chore at the age of like five or six. And it doesn't have to be anything too complicated. It could start off with keeping their area clean. If they don't have their own room, they got, I'm pretty sure they got an area or part of a room that they share. Keep your stuff clean, keep your area clean, you know, pick up after yourself. If you think, if you see things on the floor, pick them up. And at like the age of six, like my grandson, he's six and he lives with me. You know, I have custody of him. 
and he has his own room here and you best believe I make him clean his room up, you know, because if you putting all those toys on the floor, buddy, you are going to pick them up. And true indeed, there are times when I do help him if it's a little bit too much, but you know, I definitely help him clean like, you know, any type of spills, change the sheets and stuff like that. But he, he has to pick up after himself. And when he eats food, you know, I would like for you to make sure that you don't leave all the food on a table, like, you know, crumbs and stuff. So he does do that. And I think like that's that's kids learning responsibility and earning their keep because you can't live for free. And I mean, you can live for free, but you, you really can't. You know what I mean? So I feel like every kid should have like some type of task, a chore. But then when you got 20 year olds who are over the age of 18, <laughs> And all they doing all day is laying up and sleeping all day long and then eating up the food and it's just doing nothing. Then, girl, you got to go. Like, you have to go. There's no reason for you to be here. Like, I, I, let me tell y'all, it was so hard for me to put my daughter out, Tinky's mother, but it's like the same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Almost. I mean, she has some type of income, but the laziness, the the just the laziness the not picking up it was just a whole fiasco you know I have a whole video on that but it was time for her to go because when you feel like you've grown then you need to act grown okay you know what I'm saying and me personally this is me personally you ain't about to be up in my motherfucking house disrespecting me or calling me any type of name or out of my name before I go upside your head, okay? And yeah, we had we had like a huge altercation and the cops were called and she was removed from my home. And you know, she said some things. She called me out my name too, but she only did that shit when the cops came. You know, you, you got them... They your bodyguard right now. But, you know, on a, on a regular day, you wouldn't even try that. You did try that once. And what did I do? I went upside your head. But, like, literally. But me personally, like, first of all, your home is your peaceful place. It's just, you know, this is where you, you come and you relax and you safe. And ain't no outdoor, indoor foolishness going on. This is your home. Not a playground, not a clubhouse, not the trap house. This is your home. If you have to constantly tell somebody who's grown how to respect your home and you, then it's time for them to go. Like, I'm not about to have nobody in my home stressing me the F out, okay? Like, no, no, not gonna happen. And she's 20 years old. Like, first of all, Agnes... I understand that it might be hard for you to put them out because nobody wants their kids to be homeless. Like, seriously, nobody does. And I had that same issue, okay? But after a while, you get so effing tired of it. Like, you get tired of that shit. You get tired of it. And it, you will get so tired to the point where you will get numb and you will despise the person. So now I could feel you when you be like, when you just said you you don't want to feel like you disliking her, but you feeling like that because I get it because it's been going on for too long and it ain't going to get no better. The only thing that you can do to save yourself, her and the relationship that you guys both have is to put her out. If she got friends, you, you just said her friend be coming to your house while you at work. So she can go stay there. Sometimes you got this love. It be called, this what they call tough love. Tough love. My mother put me out when I was 19 years old. Yes, she did. She put me out, okay? I don't even think she cared if I had nowhere to stay. But we got into an argument. And she put me out and my son out, okay? She didn't even, she, she didn't even think twice. And you know something? I'm glad she did because I didn't want to be there. No, <laughs> no. I'm just glad she did because it allowed me to grow as a person. You, you, you feel me? And I'm sorry, but I... I don't let nobody irritate me and aggravate me, especially none of my kids. I'm not, I have been there, done that, you know, and first of all, life is too short to let anybody irritate you, okay? Kids, grandkids, husband, wife, friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, boss, whatever. Life is too short to let anybody irritate you, let alone when you come home and you got some lazy bum laying up in the bed all day. Like, how do you sleep? And she's like, she sleep all day. First of all, how do you, how does a person, and maybe it's just me, but how do you sleep all effing day and you don't got no job or nothing? Like, for real. Like, it's bright and sunny outside and you you want to lay in the bed all day long and be a bum? What? Were you working in your dreams? Like, like seriously, do you have a job in your dreams? Okay? 
Look, my daughter, Tati, she used to be like that. She would work nights at the club. She worked at the club, you guys, okay? You 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 think about the rest, the club, where you shaking it, okay? You know, so she would, she would, but she wasn't working all the time, but she would sleep all the day long, all day long. So she says to me one day, we was talking about dreams. And she was like, well, I don't have any more dreams. I don't have a dream like that. I said, yeah, probably because you didn't dreamt all your dreams away because that's all you do is sleep. You didn't used all your dreams up. That's why you ain't having no dreams. And, and she thought it was funny, but I was being dead ass, like dead serious because how the hell do you sleep all day long? Like, don't you be curious about what's going on? And on top of that, you 20 years old. This is the prime of your life. You're supposed to have some money in your pocket and be, you know, motivational to yourself, at least. Inspirational to yourself. I don't know, something like that. Agnes, let me tell you something. And this is just coming from me because I've already been there. So, and our situation is different, you know, a lot different, I, I, would, I would think, because my, mind you, I have custody of my grandson. So our situation is definitely different. But, um, and his mother does not live here. She can come visit, she cannot live here. But as long as you allow her to stay there, she's not gonna change. She's not, and you are an enabler. Okay, and it's unfortunate that that's what we are. Or we, I was, but because all we want to do is love our children and make sure that they're okay and safe, and we 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 want their life to be easier than ours. You know what I'm saying? But as long as you allow her to stay there, it's just not gonna change. It's gonna it's gonna get worse for me. Like you know, I have five kids, and my middle son he passed away August fourth of 2019 he lived here with me he but he had a job and sometimes me and him would be like you know at it you know but he always had a job you have to make them responsible you have to some people feel like oh well i wouldn't want my kid to pay rent but if you have a child that's like 19 20 years old living at home and they have a job you're supposed to teach them some type of responsibility. You don't have to make them pay for every damn thing, but at least give them one bill to pay, not the whole entire rent, but a, a bill. It could be a cell phone bill. It could be a water bill, a light bill, something that starts the responsibility off. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't live nowhere for free. You can't sleep all day and not do shit with your life all day. Because trust me, if you have an apartment and you decide, I don't want to go to work, I'm going to just sleep all day, all day, every day. Your ass is going to be sleeping in an alleyway somewhere or in a train station or in a train because you're going to be homeless. So sleeping all day is not acceptable in the real world unless she got some sugar daddy who will really give it to her good and leave her a whole bunch of money. That's not going to work out for her sleeping all day. You're going to have to put Agnes, you're going to have to put your daughter to the curb. And I don't mean put her to the curb like that, but you're going to have to give her like, listen, some people be like, give them a time. Like you got to be out on this day, blah, blah, blah. That shit don't be working either. All right. That shit don't work either. You don't have to make her go. You don't have to put her out. Some states will tell you that, well, because she lived there, you know, you got to put her out through the courts. It doesn't matter if you rent the house or the apartment or whatever. You have to put her out through the tenant's rights because they live there, even if they ain't doing shit. Trust me, this is one of those states. And I was like, are you serious? Or you can put an order of protection against the person and they will be removed from your home immediately. I don't know if your daughter has ever tried to be physical with you, but if she got the audacity to run her mouth and call you out of your name because we got, oh, I'm going to move out. I'm not going to be here for long, but she's still there. Girl, Agnes, put your big girl drawers on and let her know it's time for her to go. Who the hell wants their kid to aggravate them? Like, I be seeing so many people with kids out in public even little kids, I don't, you know what I'm saying? They could be five and six, have a temper tantrum, throwing themselves on the floor, screaming, like yelling, crying because they can't get nothing. I hate to see like a five-year-old, a four-year-old doing shit like that because you know better. You know better. That's like, oh my God, Tinky tried that one time with me. Like, what? Whoa, what? I mean, I looked at him so quick in the store. I said, what you about to do? He looked, he, he straightened right on up. 
right right on up all i gotta do is give you like the stare because you know i ain't playing with you but i hate to see people out in public with their kids and the kid is screaming and having a temper tantrum at like the age of six flopping on the floor like you really gonna throw yourself down on the floor how to kick the shit out of your ass that's how i be feeling like if i was a parent and that's like a sign of disrespect right there and that's where you have to nip it in the bud real quick because if you don't them kids grow up to be really really like ruly like they feel like you can't tell them nothing like i hate to see that i don't like disrespectful kids of any age any age i never would disrespect my mother and here look i'm 46 years old you think i'm a disrespect respect my mother because I'm 46. No, never, never. All right. Disrespecting your parent? Heck no. You have no age. There's no limit to the age with that. Like it's just not, it's not acceptable regardless of how old your ass is. And for you to live up in somebody's house and don't pay for nothing and sleep all day, have your friends over. Girl, you crazy. Your ass would have been out the door. She going to eat your food up. You, Agnes said she sleep all day, eat the food up, and have her friends over. Agnes, you didn't even think about the rest, okay? She used your electricity. She used your water, okay? She used your air. She used your, your soap, your washing machine if you got one. Like, she uses all, your internet, your cable. She uses that. So she don't just eat up the food, honey. She is an extra bill. Let me tell you something. If her ass wasn't living there, I guarantee you all of those things that I just said, water, electricity, um, certain things that spike up because more there's multiple people in the home, like water, the water bill, the electricity bill, that goes down when there's less people in the house. So you at work, working two jobs. So she, that's right. I forgot. She worked two jobs Monday through Friday and this bum is sleeping all day long. Man, I'd take her stuff and pack it the hell up and then have it sitting outside for her. That's what I would do. Yep. Ain't no way in God's green earth am I going to allow somebody to be in my home and they being a bum in my home and they disrespect me? No, I wouldn't even care if you had a job and was giving me money. You still ain't going to be up in here disrespecting me. You're going to have to go. Seriously, it's gonna ha you're going to have to go. Let me tell y'all. It is so peaceful in my home. It's me, Mumsy, my daughter Nay, who's 18, and my grandson. It's so peaceful. It's quiet as hell, but it's peaceful. It's very peaceful. Do I like the peace? Heck yeah, I do. Do I miss sometimes the chaotic noise or just the loud noise? I sure do. It's probably because I miss my son. You know, I miss that part, which, which was him. But me, do I miss me and my daughter Tati going, um, arguing? Hell no. Or me telling her to get a better job or clean up that room? Nope, don't miss that neither. Nope. Let me tell you. Your kids, if you, if you allow them to run you in the ground, they will run your ass in the ground. Especially when they're grown and they're not doing nothing with their life. This girl is 20 years old. She needs to get her ass up, go find a job, and go get some kind of skill set, okay? Some type of motivation. And as long as she live up in your house and she live there rent-free and whatever else, she's not going to change. But I wouldn't even give a damn if she had a job. It's time for her to go so you can have your sanity back. And you can come home from your hard two jobs, days work, all right? And relax. Not have to look, and look around and see this food that you probably wanted and she done ate the shit up or you know, you know what I'm saying dirty dishes stuff like that like you know what I'm saying like for real Agnes just think about what I said because I've already been there and done that and trust me when I tell you it's not a great feeling and you get to the point where you start really despising the person and also you get really stressed out so why put yourself through something that you really don't need to and also why put yourself through something that you've been through long enough straight up you know what I'm saying? Disrespect is disrespect. I don't care who you are living in my home. You want to be disrespectful? You can get the door. Goodbye. Don't come a knock in, okay? Please don't holler at me or none of that. Just know that I put your ass the hell out and now carry along your way and make a life for yourself. Point blank, period. So on that note, you guys, I'm out. I'm hungry. My stomach is growling. I'm going to finish this project that I have made. And make sure you guys check out my social media this week for my girl Rose. Make sure you vote for her. She definitely deserves it. She definitely deserves the vote. Um, you know what I'm saying? Great woman. 
when you find someone that's a good friend, keep them, you know what I'm saying? Keep them close because it's hard to find good people these days, especially positive people. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you give her a vote, a vote, a likey like for me. And I love you all. And I will see y'all in the next Real Talk. Bye.